Hi there. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can start singing from scratch, even if you think you're tone deaf. Now, now before we dive in, do remember to hit the like button, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future videos. And if you would like to continue with your singing and, and make some progress with your singing, then I've got a free five day singing course. It's going to come direct to your inbox. All you need to do is go to the link in the description, pop in your details and I'm going to send that to you. Now, I've just been speaking to a lady who has who was told as a child that she couldn't sing. Um, it sounded like she was mucking about. And so she started miming and she did that for a long, long time. Anytime she's in a group situation and it's not the first time that I've heard this kind of story. Um, lots of people say to me, oh, you wouldn't want to hear me sing or oh, I can't sing or oh, you'd never be able to teach me to sing. Well, the fact is I can teach anyone to sing. If you have a voice, and you want to learn to sing, I can teach you to sing. It might just take longer than it takes other people. Now, the thing about being able to sing or being a good singer is, is actually more about your listening ability and being able to hear music than your ability to use your voice. Because if you can speak, you can sing. And what happens is that we get caught up in straight away wanting to be able to sing like the people we hear on the radio or on TV, forgetting that those people have had years and years of training and hours and hours, thousands of hours of practice. So if you're at home and you hear someone on a show like The Voice or you're listening to the radio or even, you know, you're, you're listening to your favourite singers and you try to emulate that. If you've had no training, my darling, it's not going to happen. Now, there are some people who naturally are able to recreate melodies more accurately than others. That doesn't necessarily mean that if you had the same amount of training and practice that they're going to be better singers than you. It just means that at this point in time, they have had more practice than you have and they've had the guidance that you that you need as well. So to start singing from scratch, if you feel like you're a bad singer or that you're tone deaf, the first thing that I recommend you do is to start listening to basic, basic music. Basic, what is basic music? Start listening to music. I'm going to take that back. Just start listening to music. <laughs> And see if you can pick out different pitches in the music. So it might be that you can hear that um, a guitar line is higher in pitch than a bass line. Usually it will be. So let's say the bass is down here. And the guitar might be up here. So if you can hear that those two notes, even though they're both a C... Okay, they're the same note, but the frequency, the pitch is different. If you can hear that, then that's going to help you to train your ear. If you can't yet, don't worry, because with more practice, it will. Then I would recommend that you listen to the different lines in the music. So the first line that you, the first music line that you hear, maybe it's the drums, maybe it's the cymbal, maybe it is the voice, but pick out the different lines and see, then after a few days of practicing this, if you can hear two different lines at the same time. So you might hear harmonic lines like this, that go in, which means the pattern is the same, they're just on different notes, so it might be like this. It won't be as basic as that or you might hear sorry but if you can hear two different lines or you might hear something like this so two different musical lines going on at the same time now once you're able to pick out different lines then it's going to be much easier for you to recreate them so if you're hearing different instruments, maybe you can sing along then with the instruments rather than trying to do the words and the pitching and the projection 
and the breath control all at the same time. Or if you're feeling more adventurous, go for the vocal line if that's what you can hear. But you don't have to sing the words straight away. Maybe just try and pick out the melody. So if you had a song like Back to Black by Amy Winehouse, which is here, um, the line goes, He left no time to regret Kept his dick wet With his same old safe bed So maybe you don't try and sing the line and try and sound like Amy Winehouse. Maybe you just sing... It's all on the same note, so that's really easy to pick out. Or if you had a song like um, Hello by Adele. Hello from the other side. Maybe you can just sing. You don't have to go into launch into a big rendition of the song okay so a few things to pick up on there listening is at least as important as the vocalization i'd actually say it's more important than the vocalization so practice active listening pick out a line that's easy for you to follow and work and try and recreate that first just a short line maybe just a few seconds and then add to it and then go into singing the words, okay? Because it's a process. Now, for some people, they can naturally just pick out a line because it's easier for them. They're more practiced in, in active listening, listening and hearing different things and being able to pick out those melody lines. Don't worry about it. If you're not one of those people, you will be eventually. And it's just a case of enjoying music getting used to hearing yourself vocalise. So even if you were just to every now and then go, la, 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 just to hear yourself hearing your own voice, because hearing your own voice for the first time can be quite daunting, okay, for the first few times. And then practice squeaking as well. Eee! Eee! And just using your voice in that way. We don't have to take it all so seriously. Have some fun with your voice. Practice, you know, play around with some sounds. Oh, ooh, hey. Play around with your voice because it can do lots of things that you haven't tapped into yet. So I hope that this has helped you. If it has, remember to like and comment. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you always um, see my future videos and there are lots of videos that you can use to get started. I recommend the um, the, the warm-up for beginners. I'm going to put the link in the description and I'll also try to remember to put it in a card up here that you can click on. I'll see you very soon. Stay hydrated. Ciao!